what's up hey we got 22 of us here on this channel now so welcome everybody I hope you're doing well and I don't necessarily uh, always know exactly what your particular interests are in this channel some of you may be interested in whatever I got to offer some of you may just like the garden stuff so I'll make sure I label accordingly I sure hope everybody likes my Kit Kat videos yeah Kit Kat she's a good kitty I made one and I tell her it's four minutes twenty seconds Kit Kat you know what that means and she attacked me that's about as long as the video was yep yeah. But remember, it was 4 minutes and 20 seconds into the video that I got attacked. She got so many hugs and love loves and tickles on her belly and rubbing on her head. And yeah, she's a sweet little Kit Kat sometimes for me. And maybe other people if they knew how uh, to give her her affection. She's a different kind of cat. Being afraid of her? That ain't gonna get, that don't get anybody in any good place with that cat. You gotta, with that cat, you put your foot down. Let her know, hey, I'm putting up a shit. I'll fuck you up. I'm a human being. I'll rip your fucking head off. Sorry, Bailey, I don't mean to get you worked up. My dog wants to go outside. You wanna go outside and see the garden? Alright, I'm gonna pause it. going outside. Oh. I don't know if you can see anything. Maybe those lights. It's growing. That is two. I need to get all these weeds out. That looks like a flower. He's doing better. Look at that onion. Look at that onion plant that came out of my fucking garden compost pile. Now look at this. Oh yeah. That gourd is looking good. Sunflower, 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 corn, it's a jack-o'-lantern, uh, he's struggling, that's a cucumber plant, he's struggling, he does, he does have new growth though. one over there I got three of those flowers three different colors pink purple blue there's a cabbage we've seen Smokey Smokey the bear look at the spider see it see the spider there he goes look at oh he went under All I have here is this dinky ass tomato plant. A gourd. That cabbage looks good. Oh, you see that night crawler? You see that guy? Look at him, he's big. Look at him, he's slithered way up under here even. That's awesome, you can see the trail where they've been digging through here. Let's look at him. Look at, he just went in that hole. He just went deep. 
Did you see that shit? You see him pulling the hole? That's interesting. Now I'm super fucking curious. My kid's gonna love this garden now. Pull that rock out of there. Set it up here. And... Over here is a cabbage, and another corn, and another gourd. I like with the gourd, I'm gonna grow that into the garden. Maybe grow it across here, down that way. I've got this tile. I can move the tiles out of the way. I'm gonna let it get on the dirt if it goes that way, but I'm gonna try to train it. Tiny little tomato. Whoa, it fucking scared me. See that fucking worm? That shit scared me. What a fucking pussy. It's funny. Nightcrawler hunting in the garden, that's great. So I put this in there, so we know what it is. Those guys are cool. Yeah, that's the garden. This lettuce. I'm gonna cut this. I think this will be a salad tomorrow. Yeah. That's a fresh salad right there. Yeah. That's what it's for. You look. A slug. A slug. Don't need that fucker there. You can get in and eat my stuff. Look, another. Get out of here. Well, I think it's time to cut it for sure. And wash it. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's what all your vegetables have on it, though. Bugs and shit. See? Look at that. Potato worm. You think he's not crawling and touching your food during the day and night? Look at these carrots. Remember these? These were so small just so long, not so long ago. Wow. I'm so happy right now. My peas. I gotta get him strung up a little higher now. Yeah. He's starting to fall over, so I gotta get him strung up in the morning. All of these. Try to get them up. Yeah. Alright. Alright, well, that was fun, wasn't it? Well, I thought so. I don't know what the hell I was even doing before that. <laughs> yeah. Funny. That's chilling, isn't it? Might as well have a smoke. I don't imagine I told you uh, about work. Well, let me first start with listening. I watched uh, Joe Biden talking about the masks and those that got the shot. And how they are in the right to take their masks off, not only outside, but inside. And then he come out and said, uh, get vaccinated or wear your mask till you do. Yeah, well... I got some thoughts and feelings on that. Immediately. But I've got more thoughts and feelings on it now. Because now I have experience.
Yeah, you got the weird stuff, okay? It's it's weird. You got people coming in who normally would wear a mask and then they don't. And uh so it's like seeing me with no mustache. Used to seeing a different half of my face. And then it's different. You know? So you got that. No big deal. But pretty much my first day to work after that little pr little uh, press conference or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, my first day back to work after that. Several times that day. It was pointed out to me that I'm wearing a mask and they weren't. And why? At least why they weren't. With the implied assumption of why I was. And that's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome to stand there and have it pointed out that I'm wearing a face mask. And they're not, because they've been vaccinated. And flouting that in my face. Listening to them talk about how they're living on the edge because they went into Subway without the mask. Really fucking giddy telling me too. Yeah. Every day. Last four days I've worked. Every day. Multiple times. I've had it pointed out. Those same things. Yeah, well. Not really. I didn't expect it to be so damn quick and weird. But. I get to experience it, right? Start the, uh, get to experience the very first part of something that would never happen. Pretty isolating in this world for me. And I know I'm not alone. But it sure can feel like that sometimes. And interacting out there in the public and listening to them and seeing what they do. Don't don't really help it any. You know? And if I got any worries, it's for other people. I mean when I tell people all the crazy sounding stuff I tell them it's essentially because I just want to motivate them to do something more because I see so many people doing nothing and if anybody's doing something that tends to be very little it's all kinds of excuses and things they say Maybe everybody ain't got to grow a garden. Maybe everybody ain't got to do this or do that. But there's always something. You know, and... I've been into this... stuff for a long time. And over the last year... I tried to, uh... organize... you know, some things. Not like protests or anything, just kind of have a plan that isn't just my plan because my plans always tried to include people I love and you think anybody wants to make any plans and be serious about it no not most people most people just want to go and live their complacent life and 
that's their, that's their choice, but it's still hard for me sometimes. And lately I've been trying to be real quiet about it. For a lot of reasons. Yeah.